840. Now, most people know, but the city of Dayton has a very significant role in the peace accords. I'm joined on the set now by Bashir Ahmed. You are the head of operations with the Dayton International Peace Museum. Right, right which is something that we're lucky to have here in our area. But you're here today to talk about a special event which is linked to Dayton's significance in the Peace Accords. Can you talk right. about that a little bit first? Most certainly, most certainly. This is our eighth annual, what we call the 5K run. Okay. A run or walk. So there are people who don't like to run. People who maybe don't want to run. So <laughs> they can walk. Um, this is our eighth annual, like I said, and uh, we have uh, pre-registration at 8 in the morning. Okay. on Saturday, April the 20th, and the run actually starts at 9 in the morning. Okay. Uh, Dayton International Peace Museum, we're proud to let your audience know that, that it is the only such peace museum in the country. Um, so, we, we get a lot of inquiries from around the country, and we're also a member of the, of the International Association of Peace Museums. Can you tell me about the significance that Dayton has? If people don't know that history, why is it so special here in the Dayton area? Well, you know, besides our Wright brothers and uh, besides the uh, uh, fact that the Dayton Peace Accords were negotiated over here, um, you know, we feel we are really uh, making a significant contribution to the Dayton area, not only by our name, uh, you know, Dayton is now called the City of Peace mm -hmm. after those peace accords. Mm -hmm. So it's it's very it's a, it's a very uh, I would say an obvious place for a Dayton National Peace Museum pe to be located. Uh, you were asking me earlier as to what it was going to cost. It's uh, twenty dollars. Twenty dollars, uh, okay. Twenty dollars, and then of course, if you are a uh, enrolled in any of the institutions as a student, mm -hmm. it's ten dollars. Okay. And they also get a free T-shirt with that. Okay, so we have that uh, there on the screen, and we also have the details, I think we just saw them, of when and where this is happening. Saturday, April 20th, correct? You said 9 a.m. Well, the, 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 the it'll start at 9. We'd like for people to come a little early because they need to get their numbers and registration, and, registration and right. paperwork and so forth. And the course, if they're interested, the course is along the scenic. Ohio River Corridor. Oh, that's nice. Proceeds go to the Proceed, Peace Museum? Proceeds go to the Dayton International Peace Museum. It's one of the ways to maybe raise a little little funds. You know, we want everybody to know that it's an all-volunteer organization, mm -hmm. and uh, we really don't have any large grants coming from anywhere, although we're trying now. Mm -hmm. We're proud to say that our facility is uh, debt-free. Mm. Okay, so that's, that, good that's a good thing. So <laughs> it's, good it's, a, it's a support from the local organizations that uh, and individuals that support the uh, museum and make it possible to do what we do. Okay, eighth annual. So, Mr. Ahmed, Bashir Ahmed, thank you so much for being with us. Thank this you morning. for having me. Hopefully, people make it out and enjoy the walk or run. You I don't have to so. run. Well, today, the 